All right, all right. Uh, a more, um, I don't know what the word would be, fun halftime maybe this week than, <laughs> than last week. Tennessee leads the Vanderbilt Commodores 21 to 0. Uh, and I don't want to say that this game is going as expected because it's kind of been a little wonky. It's raining and it's a little weird. But I would put it this way it's Vandy. You should be up 21. Uh, to zero, but I'm Charlie Burris. Yeah. That is former Vols quarterback Jonathan Crompton back with us for another week. And uh, well, I guess before we get into it, I got to tell everybody about our great sponsors. Let's uh, go ahead and do that. Farm Bureau Health Plans. Farm Bureau Health Plans uh, is a corporate sponsor of the Vols. They've been serving Tennesseans for 75 years. Plan on them for health, dental, and vision. slash atoz. Omaha Steaks. Visit omahasteaks.com. Type in promo code VOLS at checkout and fill your freezer with enough gourmet food to keep your cookouts going strong into the fall. And finally, rattle and snap Tennessee whiskey from Logstill Distillery. Make your own luck, just like Tennessee's fast-paced rattle and snap offense with rattle and snap Tennessee whiskey. All right, 21-0. to zero. Crump, uh, again, a more palatable half than, yeah. than last week. Vandy just does not possess the ability to throw the ball uh, and is yeah. making the secondary... Uh, look the best that they've maybe looked all season well, but your your thoughts on that first half well it helps us that vandy averages 194 yards passing per game this year because we have so many secondary guys out tonight so that def that definitely played to our advantage let's just call that like it is um i don't know personally what the reason why we have five dbs out i would be interested to know um maybe it's because vandy only throws for 194 game i have no idea but if there was a game to have five DBs out, it's tonight, right? Um, you know, and I, I think the four-play drive to start the game, I think that was kind of how you wanted to do it, especially in that you can see – it's hard to see from the above view, but when they showed downfield level, it looks like it is raining pretty well. And I had a FaceTime yeah. from a buddy of mine earlier right before the game, and it looks not fun. We'll just say that. Um so to throw the ball as effectively as we have so far, I'm not upset at it. Yeah, I would like a few throws back, but 56% comp uh, percent completion percentage with a couple actual throwaways, though. Like, legitimately, I'm throwing the ball out of bounds here. So I, I, I'm i not upset. There's, you know, I've seen some comments, people saying about, oh, we'll overthrow Joe, blah, 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 right? Well, the reality is before tonight, he was 89% completion percentage on deep balls. That's phenomenal. Or ball's over 25 yards, we'll say that. That's phenomenal. Rain game, we're down Tillman, we're down Bruce. So the only really deep threat that we have is Hyatt. He's getting gassed. So it's kind of a, a – it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of the perfect storm for it to be a, a lesser deep ball game. But I like the fact that we're still taking the shots. Yeah, it's, it's weird with the rain and everything. And so – um, I, no matter what happens here, you kind of give Milton a pass getting thrown into the situation as he has and, uh, you know, fight fighting against the rain like that. Um, it's also super obvious that they have told him do not run. There's no backup. Let's start there. It's Gaston Moore, who is the backup to the backup. So he's the backup to the backup to the backup on this team. Uh, and so I think they've been like, absolutely do not run. He had an opportunity that that throw where he launched it at squirrel white at 10,000 miles an hour, right into squirrel white's chest. And at from five yards away, um, that was a situation where I think Milton probably would have run and he didn't. And it really makes me think that Hypel has kind of gone like, don't, don't even well, and, try. And especially, especially with the weather. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's it's just one of those games. It just feels weird. I mean, like you said, I'm using the word like you said about being weird. There's no brew. There's no Tillman. Five DBs are down. It's Ugh. raining. It's a night game at Vanderbilt. Like it just it just feels awkward. Yes. And we're but the thing is, the positive is we're doing what we're supposed to do. I mean, we're still thrown for 133 yards. We rushed for 67. Right. We're we're on pace for a pretty decent offensive ball game. For the weather, they have 96 yards of total offense. So, you know, it's still shaping up to be a pretty good game so far. The The defense has looked the way that you would hope they would in response to last week where they just got embarrassed in every way. Um, 
Turns out South Carolina has gotten something figured out because they beat Clemson today. Uh, I don't know who saw that coming, but um, it wasn't me. I, did, I didn't see it coming after the way it started. I did not. Yeah, Going I thought they were going to get buried. I was like, I text, I text my dad and, his, and our buddies and was like, yeah, well, South Carolina's back to South Carolina, you know. And then me and my wife went and ran some errands. I looked at the score and I was like, hey, babe, babe. She looked at me, I was like, come here, hurry. And I flipped my phone line and flipped around. I was like, South Carolina's up 31 to 30? What? Like just out of the blue because I stopped keeping up with it. When Radler threw that pick six right at the beginning of the game, I was about to vomit. Like I was just like, of course. That kid plays the greatest game of his career and is going to come out here and throw up the biggest stinker of his life against Clemson today. <laughs> he ended up not. As soon as I saw it, I was like, well, all right. I shot yeah. the text. Hey, babe, let's go run some errands. We'll be back. The answer. You know? yeah. um, well, it was bad. Um, but, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad Clemson's not in the playoff. Yes. Um, oh, thank you, South Carolina. <laughs> And and Ohio State too. I I can't help but notice that Big Ten Jeff is inconspicuously absent tonight. He's well, not the, in the, the chat. Sad part is, if LSU loses, Ohio State's still going to get in the playoff. Yeah, they're hanging around. I mean, it's it's not a short thing that they're out, but man, that's a that's a bad bad it, loss. Well, so I know we got a lot of stuff to talk about, obviously, but I'm going to throw this sure. out there. And I would like I would like to talk about this post game. So I just want everybody to kind of think on. Yeah, it. we can tease I've it. Seen, I've seen it during the week. This is not what anybody wants to happen on this show. I'm going to preference it this way. Nobody on the show, especially me, is wants this to happen. But it's already started. Clemson's lost. Ohio State and and or Michigan had to lose. But the way Ohio State lost with a 22 point home loss. Keep that keep that in mind. Home 22 point loss. Okay. Doesn't matter what TCU does. If USC stumbles tonight, and I know they were they're up at half tonight or next week. And if LSU loses, um, Bama might be in the playoff. I I, I want to talk about that post game because there's there's like there's still like a billion scenarios. Yeah, exactly. There's but a lot that can happen. And the only reason I say it that way is, and once again, I don't want that to happen. But I dislike Ohio State so much. It's a lose lose for us, like yeah. mentally. You know what I'm saying? But what well, I'm that, getting at is Ohio State 22 point home loss. Alabama's only got two losses by a combined four points. Yeah. Well, barring Both on the road, barring a total meltdown from Tennessee in the second half, and let's not speak it into existence. Um, yes. We will. We'll. That'll be the teaser for the post game. We'll yeah. talk about all of the scenarios, all the bowl games. Um, for Tennessee, because that is that's where we'll be at after this one, yeah. and hopefully uh, Tennessee will have ten wins. But on that note, let's do talk about uh, the the Omaha Stakes second half change. Um, and and I'll be honest, Tennessee in that half, we we already said it. It was a weird half, and I think there's plenty of things they could have done better, particularly on offense. So let's talk about that cromp. Uh, but first, I got to tell everybody about our great sponsor omaha steaks fall is in the air that means fall grilling with cookout sailgate parties and so much more and the flavor experts at omaha steaks have made it easy to savor all the flavors of fall with their mouth-watering assortments of perfectly aged steaks ultra juicy burgers and easy to prepare uh me comfort meals that are ready in a flash now is the perfect time to load up on all the incredible flavor and take advantage of 50 percent off site-wide by shopping their friends and family sale, go to omahasteaks.com and use our promo code VOLS. That is V-O-L-S at checkout, and you'll get $30 off your order, so don't wait. Go to omahasteaks.com. Stock up today. Omaha Steaks isn't just steak. It is the best steak of your life, guaranteed. And don't forget that you can score $30 off your order with promo code VOLS, V-O-L-S at checkout. Omaha Steaks is perfect for those chilly and busy fall nights. You won't come close to getting this kind of quality at the grocery store, and I've tried a bunch of it now, and that is absolutely true, folks. Visit omahasteaks.com, promo code VOLS at checkout. Minimum order may be required. Omaha Steaks. So, Crump, what is your Omaha? Your second half change that you would make here uh, for, for Tennessee to see them continue with this success against Vandy? Uh, at a certain point, I would just I'm trying to think how to say this politically correct. Just pound the rock, get out of the game healthy, or as healthy as possible with football, barring any injuries, and 
I know we like to play fast. I know we like to have a ton of possessions, but I would almost say let's let's have the mentality of let's run the ball in this half in an hour type game. You know what I mean? Rack up the yards. Um, Milton's playing well enough, but the weather doesn't, from what I've seen, doesn't look like it's going to be getting that much better. No. So the, to me, the only thing we can do by continue, continuously throwing the ball downfield is possibly ruin confidence going into a bowl game and then into next year. You know what I'm saying? Like just internally. So, he, guys, we, we understand. He, he's got a, a rocket arm. We know that. Does he need to throw the ball a tad bit earlier on some deep balls? Yes, but the hard part about offense is you can't because it's option routes, so you got to make sure they're running the right the route you're thinking. So that's the negative. And in the the weather with it is it with it uh, with what it is today, I just say we run the damn ball. Let's let's impose our will, get out of here, take the dub, go home. Uh Jerome Carvin went out in that first half with something. Saw somebody speculate it was concussion E uh or something along those lines. Um and and I would say you need those guys up front to have a real nice second half and yeah. get Tennessee moving the ball. The only thing that's tough there, I, I completely agree. I think this is a, a run the ball, go home, and, and get out of there. And then uh, I just think with Milton not running at all, where it seems like they've really given him that directive, like do not put your body at risk here. That is tough because that's such a giant element taken away. And he's also gained a lot of confidence running the ball. And I want to yep. see him run the ball because it almost feels like it's like, when are we actually going to get to see this kid actually open it up? Like to okay. truly be the guy. Cause it's just okay. like, we, we always say that it's like, we only see him in garbage time. He's only with the twos. He only does all of these things. And yeah, tonight he's only, he's playing with a bunch of injured guys around him. And now he, it seems like they're telling him not to run like, ah, come on. But I also I, get I'm it. Gaston Moore is the next guy. Maybe Schuler's the next guy. Like you just you gotta be you gotta be safe in that scenario because it kind of drops off a cliff after after Milton. So, um, but I, I, yeah, I think just running the ball and being effective. Running yeah, the well, ball. exactly. Don't yeah. just run it to run it. We got to be effective doing it. Yes, exactly. I mean, it, it has to get get creative, do something. I I like they attempted an end around a squirrel white. So you know, just get, give the ball to Fant in the backfield. I don't yeah. care. Um, just oh, speaking of, tailback, he lines up a sure. Goal line. No, he lined up his tailback on the goal line. Yeah, you see that powered no, it in. It, it didn't go well until they put him at fullback. But still, I mean, that's I'm not mad. I'm not mad at the creativity at all. Yeah, I uh, I don't mind it. It, it was nice to see just different. It's something different. <laughs> you know, yeah, well, I mean, there. And I hate to say it, and Vandy fans, I'm sorry, but tonight's the night to, to try it. Yeah. Well, get get your lead. We've got our lead. Now we need to we need to obviously extend the lead, but get the lead early, like we did in the four play drive to start. Right. Defense kind of do what you got to do to get off the field. Let's get a special teams touchdown. That's nice too. Right. Now's the time to try a few wrinkles to see what we can do with some young dudes. Yeah. See if they can see where they can play at other positions. I'm not, like I said, I'm not mad at giving fan a goal line um, tailback, but I, I think we need a different formation with a, maybe a little more beef with a fullback as well. I know we had a wing position, but I would say like an actual fullback. That's that's a different conversation. Tonight's the night to do that, but we can still do it in the second half. We just need to make sure we're get out as healthy as possible and running the ball, shorten this game. Yes, exactly. Run, run the clock, do what you got to do. And yes, you you mentioned it there. And Stephen Sawyer's in the comments says, "What about that punt return? Yeah. That was awesome. Huge credit to D Williams there. Because yeah, th this offense did only only put up 14 points in that first half. Obviously, you would be up 14 to zero. You'd still be up two touchdowns yeah. even if you didn't have that. But I, hey, that was incredible. It kind of has felt all season long like that that was a real possibility, and he finally delivered. That was great to see. Um, so I I don't care." Where it comes from. Yeah. Just, just run, milk the clock, run it out, do what you got to do. But it's, and, and it just is, it's kind of obvious here. I wish there, there was something that we could say, but with the rain and everything, I yeah. don't, don't do that. You know, I would, and if it was a Ohio State, Michigan type weather night where it was perfect. Yeah. 
And I would say, hey, man, sorry, O-line, sorry, running backs. We need to air this thing out, and we need to throw the ball 50 times in the second half. It's just not feeling like that night because the weather, too many variables. Man, let's just run it, get it, get out of here, and then and take our dub. Absolutely. Hopefully they can. Twenty-one to zero. Everybody, I don't, I don't know if people in the comments, everybody that's at my house, what just happened? That well, that everybody was cheering about. I'm still on here. What? A and M scored a touchdown, so the leading. And also, see ya. We'll see. I'm still on here though, so you got. All right. I mean, my mom, she was here. I got you. <laughs> and, so but was there was a there was a comment. Um, oh no, Brent. I mean, I I, I said it last week. I, you're 100 percent right. Didn't realize how much Jeremy Banks means to the defense. Yeah, I said it last week, and I had to I had to eat my words of saying, you know, he's not a great linebacker. Blah blah blah. Emotionally, he means more than I ever thought to this defense. And yeah. we're showing it. We got five DBs out. And they've only thrown for 21 yards. They've thrown for 21 yards tonight. He's he's a real just energy guy. It's it's huge. He it seems like he kind of changes the mentality of that unit. And he does. And I you know, he if does. they got into a spat or whatever might have happened, who cares? Put it behind you because he does make uh, a difference. And I, I think that's I would, I would, very I would be obvious. very curious as to what really happened and why he didn't travel. Um I would I honestly none of us are really ever gonna know. You know what I'm saying? They're not just going to straight up say it, but I would be curious because it it clearly wasn't due to an injury. Yeah, no. You know, but I, I don't know. We can we can speculate. You know what? But we well, see we how we see how speculation works. Look at Lane Kiffin contract to Auburn. Dude put his foot in his mouth, right? So yeah. we can speculate all day long. I just really I really want to know. I do. What we surmised was that. A, a shouting match or something did happen, but it wasn't that. I think they people tried to lay it on that, and maybe the sources that saw it, you know, the GA or whoever might be putting that information out there, saw it and was like, "Oh, well, maybe it was this." But even they weren't privy to the behind the doors conversation. Yeah, and it it seemed like also maybe coming late to stuff, skipping things, doing you know some of the you know just not doing what he needs to do, kind of a combination. Of things it was what I sur what I surmised from all the different reports that came out. It seemed like that's what it was. But I got you. Who knows? And that's what I'm saying. Like we'll we'll really never know. The only ones that'll truly know, even teammates, the only ones that'll truly know were him and the coaches behind the closed door. Exactly. But it's nice to have him back. I I can say it that is. much. With with how much Vandy is running the ball, he is excellent in that that position. I mean, he's all over the field, flying all over the place constantly. Uh, he he kind of frees up the play. For, for some of those edges um, because they, in some sense, they don't have to cover as much, <laughs> you know, he, he's yeah. more, they trust him more back there. Well, and, as much as I don't agree with a lot of this stuff, this SEC crew talks about just in general. Jordan Rogers is terrible. It just, yeah. But I do think they were spot on with what the coach has said about Banks is his fit may be wrong, right? His read may be not right all the time. But he makes he makes up for it with his athleticism. Yep. And he's going to make you right at the end of the play because even though he may not the play may or may not make it, but his athleticism made the guy cut back or bounce it or do whatever that somebody else can make it. And last week proved it. You go, and then they scored nine touchdowns on us, right? And we're missing one key guy, and now one key guy's here all year, gone a game and back, and you see the difference. I mean, it. I it's yeah. He means that much to our defense. He really does. The results speak for themselves. But I, I think yeah. the second half is probably we're, about to start. We're about to start. But I saw some comments. We're going to get into after yes. the game, hopefully, hopefully, all the random, random scenarios that we can think of. We we should know, again, barring a meltdown from Tennessee, which yeah. hopefully, you know, we're, we're not talking about anything but a win after this. But yeah. Texas AM and potentially beating LSU on the horizon, the outcome of that USC game. Like, things could shake up right in front of Tennessee in the rankings. So, we'll talk about it all in that yep. post game. Charlie Burris, former Vols quarterback, Jonathan Crompton. We'll be right back wherever you are watching this after the game. Come back, hang out with us, and we'll talk to you all then.